Cork, I got a lot to say about what I played this weekend, but I want to hear what did you play this weekend? What did I play this yeah. weekend? Tim Terry, as you know, my time is valuable. I don't have just hours to throw away on just a bunch of garbage. So I downloaded on uh, Xbox Live Marketplace for free a thing called Intel Discover. I don't I've never heard of that game. You choose if you're a boy or girl, and then using the magic of Connect, it like puts you behind the scenes at a motion picture thing. You're on a tour, Chris Evans, you may remember him from Captain America. So it's live action, and then you follow the on-screen prompt, a little stunt show, some kicking, jumping. Intel discovered. And then you go to a dance party, you sneak in through the back, and guess who catches you? Chris Evans. No, Red Fu from LMFAO. I played that for a little bit, and then the crowd just like record skip sound, everyone in the crowd stopped dancing, and I moved on. Okay, but better. Intel discovered. Why is it called that? Intel paid for it, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. They discovered that if they make a game, you have to watch the same product placement over and over and over. What did you do? Uh, we did the marathon, Extra Life 24 hour gaming marathon. Really? I beat Banjo Kazooie for the second time in my life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've been having this conversation for a while. Like, we did a replay of Banjo Kazooie, and I just argue with Ben Hansen and Dan Reichert about this. I've thought that Banjo Kazooie is a better game than Mario 64 for a while. I think yeah. it's more polished. It's a better presentation, has more character, more personality to it. Themes of the worlds are more interesting. It's just, it's better done, I think, overall. And then I was playing it, and I got to this very end part where, like, you have to do this board game where it's just a quiz of things you experience throughout the game. And one of the sets of quizzes is Gruntilda's a bad witch. And there's this good witch sister throughout the, um, this man witch. Uh, no, it's a sister. It's a cis witch. She's hidden throughout the entire castle, and you have to talk to her. And she tells you gossip about uh, Gruntilda, like, oh, what's Gruntilda's party trick? And then you have to answer it, and it was a strip tease, in case you're wondering. But I did that for like an hour. It's just quiz of like game knowledge, and that part did not age well. It helped. Is it because you're, a kid. you took an hour because you're failing a whole bunch of times and yeah. had to restart? You can only fail as many times as you have health, and then there's some instant death squares and stuff. It's just it was a really clever mechanic on Rare's part, but it hasn't aged that well. So I need to replay Mario 64 to see what I actually think about that. Uh, I moved up to the Doom 3 BFG edition. We don't have a review up on the site yet, but you played Doom 3? Yeah. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you don't aim down the iron sights or anything. There's no melee, like default melee attack you can just click. So there's like some things that are sort of annoying based on today's standards, but Doom 3 is still really fun. Like, and you have the flashlight mounted on your weapon in this one now, All right? you do is hit the left trigger and flashlight's up. Okay. And honestly, the default setting for Doom 3 is it's way brighter. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, they ratcheted that up, but as far as just like running around and blasting dudes in the face with a double barreled shotgun, like it does that right. Be honest, when you are setting up a game for the first time and it has like, do this until you can see that, the slider, you just crank it up all the way. No, 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 no. If I think it's a game that's gonna be annoying if it's gonna be too dark, what I'll do is be like, oh, adjust it so you can only see the logo a little bit. And I'll do it and then I'll change it so that I can see it pretty easily. Yeah. Can I tell you something else that was a oh, fun game this weekend? Yes. So when I was a little kid, very sensitive, my parents really enjoyed scaring me, mm. which I thought was the worst thing. And I still think it's just awful. You shouldn't scare your kids. It's very mean. You'd never do anything like that, would you? Uh, you would think. But then, so I spent a lot of time this weekend, just like the kids were outside playing and I'd go like the window and do this. Mm -hmm. And then that's technically a game, isn't it? Yeah. Talk to me, Tim. Okay, this just got really bad. Let's yeah. talk about games again. Played some XCOM. Ooh, Love that game, game, but... I beat it this weekend, actually. Did you? Yeah. You getting enough satellites, bro? Yeah, I didn't realize that you, <laughs> you could queue them up. Yeah, I queued so up a bunch. Just, I just made the first one, and then I'm like, all right, see you in 20 days. Ooh, I can't wait. You were like waiting at the oven for like a single cupcake to be cooked. It's <laughs> exactly. like, oh, I don't know what all those other pockets are for, but that's going to be delicious. Is the feedback loop of that game like hooked you yet where it's like I got these things to explore and check out when I get back to the base like oh now I can research new stuff and I can equip my guys with it I want to check it out and then yeah. just that cycle the problem for me is that I hate failing at things so when I kind of figure I out noticed so I've done like the introduction three times now I know that on my fourth I'll do really well and my soldier guys will die and all that other stuff but maybe they will that's part of the game not the way I reload things, Tim. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a classic Iron Man run my next time through. Oh, yeah? But you should stop loading, dude. If you sh if you do anything, I would say since you are such a chronic reloader, you should just try doing uh, an easy Iron Man. There's room for improvement there with you, Cork, and that's a fun game. And you don't stop fun games, even though you're a terrible sport when you lose. That's super creepy. 